Hello all. In today's video, I will show you how to use the set actor location node to do just that. Set the location of actors in your game world. Let's jump in. In our content drawer, we will create a new blueprint. I will right click, create a blueprint class of type actor. I will call this BP underscore location changing box. I will double click to open this up and we'll add a series of components in the top left. I'll click add. First, I will create a box collision. I will search box and it will pop up here. I will change the box extent on the right under shape to 200 by 200 by 200. Under the transform options, I'm going to set the location of the Z to 200 so that it sits on the ground just like that. I will add another component, which will be a cube. I will change the scale to 4, 4, 0.1, so that we can see our blueprint when it sits on the floor. So this little trigger box is on a pedestal. Now we're going to compile. I'll add one more component, and I will add our scene component. And I'm going to You'll notice here how this is in a hierarchy. I'm actually going to drag this up onto the default scene route and I'll say attach. And if you already had that selected, then it would populate there automatically, but I had the cube selected. So I'm going to set the Z location to 400, which is at the top of the box. So I'll compile and I'll save. I'll go to my event graph. And I'm going to first add a variable. I will call this actor reference. And where it says Boolean, I will change this to type actor. I will make this an object reference. And I will click the little eyeball right here. You'll see this sort of gray mark. I'm going to click that. And that will allow me to set my variable from the outside. Now let's add some logic. On my box collision, I will right click and I will say add event, add on component begin overlap. And what this is going to do is when the player overlaps, it's going to call any functionality that comes off of here. So first on our box, let's make sure we have the proper collision. So under the details panel on the right, I will search collision. And right now it's set to overlap all dynamic. Right now, uh, I think this might work. Um, but we're going to set the trigger, which actually looks to be very similar. So we'll just keep it. And we could do a cast to character here to make sure that, you know, all of these different types of overlaps we're allowing, which also make sure it says generate overlaps events is set to true. And you know, we're going to say, okay, make sure you're a character in this situation. So we want to know that it's our player. And when it is our player, what we're going to do is we're going to get our actor reference. So I'll say get actor reference. I'm going to right click and say convert to validated get. I'm going to drag this execution pin in here. And now we're going to say, let's make sure this is valid. And if it is, we're going to take our scene component and we're going to say to the actor reference, we're going to say set actor location. And we're going to pull off of our scene component and we will say get world location and we'll drag this location vector in here drag a comment over this and say set world location on overlap and we'll compile and we'll save we'll go to our environment I'm going to drag a series of these out into the world. I'm using alt drag to duplicate these. Now if I press G back and forth, I can make sure that I see my collision box. So up here in the place actors panel, I'm going to grab a shape and I'll grab a sphere. I'm just going to drop this in the center here. I'm going to select all of my box collision blueprints I've just created. And where it says actor reference, I'm going to hit the eyedropper. 
I'm going to select my sphere. So I'll just plop this up in the air. I'm going to drop down into my environment. I'm going to right click and I'll say play from here. And as I overlap the box, nothing happens. Why does that happen? That is because it has to be set to movable. So with any blueprint, by default, it's set to static or any, any static mesh. And we have to set movable right here under mobility. So I'll set movable and your blueprint has to be set to movable if you move a blueprint that isn't just a static mesh. So I'll right click, say play from here. And now that it's movable, we'll see that it pops to the location of my scene component, which is right at the top of my blueprint. Boom, there it is here. And as I move between these, I'll see that the location of this object in the world continues to change as I'm using the set actor location node. That is all for today's video. I hope you learned something useful today and please stay tuned for more Unreal Engine 5 content. Thanks all. Have a great day.